Nobody seen my vision. Nobody believed in what I was talking about. And I get it. That's cool. Just give me some time and I'm going to show you how we finna do this. So away they go, all five competitors in this one. We look immediately now to the man at the center of the track from Jamaica College, Joshua Evans fading. And coming through at the moment is the man from Excelsior Hall. And Hall bounces across the line, 1377. Sent off and running. Rajon Gray didn't get a start, but look at the man, Russell Edwards. Russell Stone for the ball. He's missing. Off they go. Oh, Gray got left in the block. And the Excelsior boys are away, running brilliantly. Shakir Lewis of Jamaica College as well. Coming there is Daniel Clark of Kingston College. But it's Daniel Wright of Excelsior who comes away to win it. And I think holds up second. Finally <laughs> <laughs> sent about their business. Second time of asking Matthew Sullivan to come to the last exit. But I think they need to get them on. Super sprinter Richard Hall, super hurdler. Set. Coming into chance for the event. Away they go, clean start we've had. Jamaica College's Daniel Bedford is out and about. Being chased by Calabar Zachary Braham. Also coming on, Excelsior's Richard Hall. But Jamaica College's Daniel Bedford comes home. Two better. Richard Hall of Excelsior is in lane seven. Wears 4-3-2 on his, his vest. A personal best last night in the 400 meter hurdles. On the outside, Shaquane Gordon, great start from him, running a stout race though from Kingston College in the mix was Clark. But the man who finished third last year comes through to get first. Daniel Wright of Excelsior, great start from him, but hits a couple of hurdles and fails, and that allows for Kingston College, Clark, and Beckford of Jamaica College storm through. Gordon. Can it be double goal for Daniel Wright of Excelsior? Shaquille Gordon steps forward. Also going to Daniel Clark of Kingston College. Also jumping well. Back for the Jamaica College. Daniel Clark of Kingston College. Back for the JC. Steps forward and takes it out of Clark. The high school is in lane number six in Lewis Tree, Montgomery. Unattached. And they are away. Brilliant start for Yashaya Brown. Richard Hall trying to chase him, but Brown is well clear. And Shia Brown will be able to win the first heat of the 110 meter hurdles. Yashaya Brown looks flanking and qualifying. Can he repeat in the final? He has Richard Hall for company, but it's Brown in front. Brown and Hall, the big two away from the rest. Look at this finish. Brown and Hall, look at them go to the line. Oh, that's close. 
Richard Hill came to play, a Shire Brown delivered like he did in qualifying. Negative 0 0.8 meters per second, the wind speed. Sent off for this half. Richard Hall stole it away from the rest of the field. The man from Camperdown is Sullivan. Sullivan taking charge ahead of Hall. Richard Hall of Excelsior. Richard Hall, number three, joint number three, Daniel Beckford. Oh. So Walker, the pass, Gibison, Hall, and Beckford. And sent away cleanly. Good start for Romario Gibison of St. Jago, but easily overtaken now by Hall. And on the outside, Daniel Beckford of Jamaica College has now gone ahead, but Hall steps ahead again. And Hall and Beckford neck and neck, 13.43. <laughs> Flash time. So the form that you want to be in. I'd say Hall got the better start there in Beckford. Uh, both are left leg leaders. So you have either left leg preference or right leg preference. We're going to find out from doing XL, which he preferred. And they're going really ding dong right here, running off the last hurdle. Ooh, that's why we have the photo finish cameras in place, viewers and listeners. They went across the line really equal. Not interested in each other at that point. Yeah, no. the clock. Both the clock. The clock. They both. Yeah. Both clocking 13.45. Hall with the win. Beckford with the win. Simple running the Jason Hall is strong. Beckford not taking over. Daniel Beckford is Hall. Those two run together. Hall. In lane at number four from Excelsior, Richard Hall. Yeah, ranked number three in the world as a Jamaican, uh, corporate silver medalist, 13.39. Uh, he's under 20, 110 meter hurdles. Athletes sent away now, and a good start from Jamaica College's Daniel Beckford. Look at Shaquane Gordon now, he has to fight to get back into it. Also, look at Richard Hall of Excelsior and the Kingston College's Daniel Clark. Look at Clark of Excelsior, it's Clark of Kingston College Hall of Excelsior bursts through the middle of the pack and looks like he gets there first. You could throw a blanket over them, but Richard Hall of Excelsior gets there first. And Richard Hall it is, confirmed the winner, 13.37 seconds. A new PB yep. for the man from Excelsior. Yep, his grandfather wanted a medal for him at Champs in the 400 meter hurdles didn't get it didn't get into the sprint hurdles either an eagle former eagle one in the girls the women sprint hurdles just now an outgoing eagle richard hall this means so much to him his teammates embrace him because they know how hard he's worked they have been there for the past two years and he's come on impressively big performance from richard hall what a level of composure he showed just now. He holds up that picture of his interview with the newspaper. His grandfather, a big part of his life, not around anymore, wanted to perform and win for him a chance, but didn't happen there. But here at the national championship, Richard Hall becomes the under 20 champion. Excelsior have been having a fantastic season with coach David Riley at the helm, as you see here. A good start from the man from Jamaica College, 
That's Daniel Beckford. Then on the inside from KC, Daniel Clark also flying. Then Richard Hall between those two. Shaquane Gordon, not his best race, left behind, tried to come back in the end and slipped after going over that final hurdle. No such problems, it would appear, for Richard Hall in the middle. The yellow comes shining through. The Eagles continue to soar. Saw Nugent just now. And Richard Hall, Hall continues to make the Excelsior. Yeah, Hall in between. Hall, quite happy. In, indeed, Hall in between the, the Daniels den. Um, Israel has run 14.05 in Jerusalem this year. Richard Hall of Jamaica goes in seven, the double national under-20 champion. He's run 13.37. This is Matteo Boulino of France, 13.56, his best. Hall and Romualdo, the two fastest this season, separated only by a hundredth of a second and one lane two going through well, it looked like William Wong was maybe the first to rise now Romualdo and Hall are getting into their running Hall in particular now bounding away looks across turns off the afterburners he wins the heat very close for second between the two athletes adjacent to him and Kazabov of Bulgaria with only two going through. Bulino, maybe in that mix. Hall, shut it down off the final hurdle. 13.58, good running for him. And it was Bulino who took second. Romualdo moves up to third on the non-automatic qualifiers. Modest headwind. Wasn't the greatest start from Hall. You can see he's very upright there. Should be staying a bit lower than that, but he won the heat, so who am I to mention it? William Wong started well. Keep an eye on the Bulgarian on the inside, Kazabov, because he, oh, Wong clattered that hurdle for Australia. That's uh, killed its prospects but very nonchalant for Hall. I don't know if we'll see this one right the way through, but he just shuts it down off the final hurdle. Very aware of uh, what's going on around him and very aware that he's racing again this afternoon. So he didn't have to go full pelt. Eyes blazing. And here we go. Look, the body language changes, just cruises across the line. Be number three here at the bench 110 meter hurdles. Good start also for Romano or Brazil. Hall of Jamaica, top two advance in the semifinals automatically. Pulling off France will be very well, but it's going to be Richard Hall of Jamaica taking this heat comfortably. In Alabama, 13 1 2. He will be a handful for everybody in this heat, and he has one of the favored center lanes. Richard Hall, the double champion of Jamaica. Lifetime best of 13.37 set in Kingston. He looked tremendous in qualification. And he ran his lifetime best, or rather his season's best, here yesterday, 13.68. This morning, this morning, losing track of the days. It would be quite a different race if it was the danger men are to his left. In particular, that man, Jacoby Tharp. Who got the start? Pretty good start from Hall. Tharp under a bit of pressure, but starts to get rolling now and going away. Tharp leads. Hall second. Hansen third. Hansen stumbling. So it is going to be Tharp and Hall in the final. Nonchalant look about him. And we keep our eye on the bottom right hand corner for the two, only two places to join the top two in each semi final. And they will not change so far. In every one of these races, with that skinny qualifying condition, we have seen hurdles rattled. We've seen fallers, we've seen people lose their balance. Tharp, I think, is particularly neat. Never seems to clip a hurdle. 
never seems to get too phased by people right on his shoulder. And looking good for the podium. And he'll be joined by Hall. So the Jamaican supporters will have enjoyed that. Hansen clattered the second hurdle. And that one. And that one. So as he tries to make up ground, that one took a heavy wrap. Off balance as he landed, and that was nearly curtains for him. He managed to stay on his feet and dive for the line, but it's the pressure. of the United States of America, the world leader, moving well in the middle lanes. Also trying to haul of Jamaica, trying to follow him as a second not automatic qualifier, but it's going to be farmer than the United States of America. 1.13. In three, the double national champion of Jamaica, Richard Hall. In three, the double national champion of Jamaica, Richard Hall. 13.37. Away cleanly first time. Tharp got a good one. It's the two Americans at the moment. America one and two. Who's it going to be? Tharp or Kornbacker? Tharp takes it. 13.07. We've hardly had a hurdles race without a clipping or a fall. But this one looked neat throughout. Let's just watch it. Tharp got out well, but he was matched by Kornbacker. They're pretty much stride for stride. The Chinese athlete just starting to get into his running off the last hurdle, but they were away and gone. And well done, Yanda Herrera, for that personal best. It looks as though Weimar on the inside did.